Hey Sean, it's Rob. I've just read your post about setting up the um, collective servos. In the front two positions, you would put the pitch and the aileron servo, and it doesn't matter which side you put it on. Um, I personally have the pitch on the left hand side and the aileron on the right hand side. The elevator servo is always at the back. Now the steps to setting this up properly, the first thing you've got to do is make sure that you get all the servos moving up and down in unison as you move your throttle up and down. You can see that head is moving up and down together because I've got every servo set up properly. So once you plug your servos in, remember the two front ones go in aileron and pitch positions in the receiver and the rear one goes in the elevator position. Once you've got them plugged in, you use your servo reversing switches to make sure that they are moving in the correct direction. Okay, As you move the stick up, they should all move up. As you move the stick down, they should all move down. Now once you've done that and it's working correctly, that's the hard part done. The next part is easy. You talked about centering the servos. Yes, you do. The next step is to center the servos to make sure that they're exactly in the middle at the neutral position. Now here's a trick to achieve that. It's almost impossible to set the exact 50% position on your stick here every time when you're doing the servo setup. So what I do is I set a throttle curve, sorry, I set a pitch curve, a pitch curve that is 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. That way, regardless of where this stick actually is, I know that my servos are smack bang in the middle of where they should be. And I only do that for this servo centering phase. So once you've got a pitch curve of 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, you can use the sub trims to make sure that these servos are all completely level. Once you've done that, your servos are set up fairly nicely. Then you can go back to your normal pitch curve, whatever it happens to be, zero to 100 or, or whatever you decide to use. Now, the final part is to set up the swash plate settings. And you've got three adjustments here. You've got aileron, elevator and pitch. And they determine when you're moving your aileron, which way these servos move. Now, it doesn't matter, as I said before, whether you've got the aileron on the left or the pitch on the left and the aileron on the right or the pitch on the right, it doesn't matter because it's all taken care of when you set this swash setting. If you've got the servos back to front from me, all it would mean is instead of plus 50 on the aileron setting in the swash, you would use minus 50. And the same thing goes for the elevator. When you're moving this elevator stick down, the rear elevator servo should be moving as we can see and the two front ones move up. When you move the aileron stick to the right, the right push rod goes down. We're looking at the helicopter from the front here and the left one goes up. So hopefully that makes a bit more sense but uh, please feel free to ask questions and uh, if I've got the time, which is uh, pretty often, I'll just uh, shoot a quick video for you. Thanks for watching.